So for you and for the congregation too as well, if you want to chime in too, what does a long time look like for you? A long time looks like for me. Yeah. Well, I, I will say this. Um, that's one thing that I may struggle with. Just being by myself. And not talking with anybody. I'm a person that likes to be around people. And just being by myself, uh, sometimes it's okay. Um, watching TV, radio, but sometimes, and if congregation, if you can resonate, when you have that alone time, your mind thinks of, your mind can go so many different places from That's excitement true. That's true. to worrying. Why am I worrying about this? Why am I thinking sometimes pessimistic about a situation with a person that I, a family member, mm -hmm. a person that I like, it just goes so many different places. So I, myself, and it's personal, like to be occupied with just almost anything. But then again, sometimes I can go into being a recluse and I don't want the phone to ring. And Kane is my dog. Everybody knows that. But then sometimes I don't want to talk to Kane. I don't want to talk to anybody. It's a rarity, but sometimes I'm like that. So a long time for me, it is a struggle. And I would like to know if it's, does anybody else in the congregation feel like that? So I'm going to redirect that question to you, Kane. Well, well, and, and I, I hear what you're saying. I hear which I'm and I'm gonna give my opinion about myself and everything, and I'm gonna tell you exactly what it is. But you're saying that you okay with being alone sometimes, but not all the time. Because you wanna have somebody there on the other end, if it's virtually, if it's face to face, you want or even a pet. You want something to occupy occupy your time. And so you won't get lost in your thoughts. Is that what I'm getting at? Don't talk about my wolfhound, okay? <laughs> All right. But I I noticed that. I, I noticed that some people do get, you know, wrapped up in pets, wrapped up in, you know, having people around. But I think the hardest thing is to be, you know, alone with your own thoughts. Because if you can control mm -hmm. your thoughts and let thoughts leave you, meaning, and I've said this in the past, where you can – you know, you can be thinking about things and picturing things. All this can happen, but they don't even exist, but only in your head. So you're just putting a, a, a microscope on something that's in your head that don't even exist. So my thing is, let it go. That's how I feel. When I'm alone, I'm okay with being alone because I don't let my thoughts consume me. I know some people, their thoughts are kind of consuming and they just... You know, uh, I thought about this or my job or the kids or the pet or the family or friends or whatever. Right. So they go down and spiraling, they spiraling, spiraling, trying to fix an issue or be a part of uh, uh, something that's going on. But yeah. I mean, there's nothing wrong with just taking care of yourself, taking care of yourself, getting your uh, mind clear of all those thoughts of what could happen, what should happen, and all these other things. I'm telling you, man, once, and, and, and I have been alone for quite some time, and me being alone, it really makes me sit back and think about, you know, life and situations, and I don't dwell on them. And I can actually see what's right in front of me. A lot of times people get consumed in other people's issues and you don't even know what's happening right in front of you and you miss out on your yeah. blessings. You know what I mean? You you miss out on those. You miss out on them because you're all consumed about somebody else's situation. 
and there was something right there for you, but you missed out. So that's how I feel like when I'm when I'm alone, I'm free thinking. I'm, um, you know, dealing with things as they come because I'm always in the present. Well, would, would you say in that, would yeah. you say in that, Go ahead. is that something that you had to come to realization with? Meaning, did you have to even work on that? Because uh, that sounds like a, a tool yeah. or whatever to clear yourself. I yeah. mean, how did you get to that degree? You well, know, well, for people like me, uh-huh. you know what I'm saying? That, that, that minds do go different places. Uh-huh. Well, well, it, it I, I'm going to tell you this. It kind of started by me going through a horrific event in my life. And that horrific mm-hmm. event, I didn't know what the outcome would be. And since mm-hmm. I didn't know the outcome, my mind will always spiral into these different things. Oh, this can happen. Oh, this can happen. Oh, this may happen. What about this? What about that? And I was, and I, I caught myself. I was like, you know what? Nothing has happened. Why am I sitting here making up things in my head about things that can happen? You can stress yourself to death, right? You know, you can go crazy off of just stressing off of something that ha- doesn't even exist right now. So then I kind of stepped back from that. And once I stepped back from that, I was like, you know what? All right, I'm stepping back. I know the situation. Let's see how it plays out. Have a wait and see attitude. It's hard to do. Yeah. It's hard to do. Yeah. Easy to say. I can say it all day, but it's hard to yeah. do. It's hard to do. And that's how I think that a lot of people, when it comes to a long time, you know, embrace it. Embrace the times that you can sit back and deal with only you. Not everybody else, not everybody in your circle, not family, not anything, just you. Once you sit back and look at that, you know what? You'll sit back and think like, why am I stressing? I put all the stress upon myself off of everybody else's situation. And I don't have anything to stress over. Now, mind you, some people feel like if I ain't doing nothing, if I'm idle, I, you know, I might go crazy or whatever. Yeah. But that's peace. If you want peace, that's that's where it's at. Do you want to be there? Or do you want to be always active, going left, right, and this and this and a third? You know what I mean? So that's when it comes to me being alone with my thoughts, I'm fine with it. Because my thoughts are not well, out there. It's not going crazy. I'm not thinking crazy things. When people tell me something that may seem um, uh, negative or something tragic or whatever, I don't think the worst. I listen to it. And then I'm like, okay. And then I can, you know, kind of manipulate my way through the situation versus Thinking all crap. Oh, I need to jump over there. I need to, I gotta go help them. Uh, this this event happened, so I need to go over there and go do no. it. You know what I mean? So and it happens no. a lot of times when people feel like they gotta put the, the Superman cape on and go fix the problem or whatever. But if your mind is already clear, once you hear the information, you'll be able to decipher through all the BS. You know what I mean? But go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Use and me. I know I find myself, you know, I won't say trying to put the cape on, no, mm-hmm. but a fixer. I try to fix it. Time I hear it, mm-hmm. we're gonna try to talk about it and try to come to some conclusion. But at what could it be at the detriment of yourself and the care that you need to give yourself? Yeah, just yeah. from time to time. Yeah, and then when we say being alone, that alone time can extend to doing something for yourself. When was the last time, if you went to it? You got to massage yourself and not sending your girl or sending your guy to go get a massage or something like that. But doing something that you enjoy. Yeah. Just yourself. When the last time you took yourself out to a movie, to something else, something that you're seeking some enjoyment in. In the comments. Now, is that just. In the comments, let us know. Let us know. When is the last time you did something for yourself? Let us know in the comments. Go ahead. Because, I mean, we're doing some real talk. Mm -hmm. Like Sometimes I can feel even um, guilty buying myself two pairs of shoes. For what reason? Because I will do it for anybody else, straight up. But that's, that's something that you 
may have to find out what's going on with inside of that person. Why are you having those thoughts? You know, why can't you just sit in quietness? Cause sometimes, you know, I can be, and I want to know anybody else, you know, real talk. Yeah. Do you feel uneasy when it is total silence around you? Bro. You know, I love it. When it's total I mean, silence, when it's total silence, and in and, and congregation, let us know how you feel about total silence. Do you feel like you get a little uneasy? I want something's got to happen, or I need to hear sound. I need to do this. I need to do that. Or you're just peace. Because there's nothing like the present. There's nothing like the present. And I, if I can sit here and just listen to just silence, or if I'm, you know, uh, um, somebody slamming their car door or somebody's talking out in the, um, uh, on the sidewalk or whatever. Somebody's walking their dog, dog barking, whatever. But I'm right here in the present. That's That right there is peaceful to me because I know exactly where I'm at. I'm not in my head. I'm not in my thoughts. I didn't make anything up. I'm right here. What I just heard yeah. is what's present. And, and that's what you would say. That's what God wants you to be, right? God wants you to be in the present. Yeah. When you're in your thoughts, that's an easy way for Satan to get in there. Easy way. Oh, yeah. Just because it sounds good doesn't mean it's God's will. But if you're in the present, then you'll be guided. And then you won't have to pick and choose. Preach. Roger that. <laughs> I had to say that. I had to give it to him. Okay, he cooking right now. But 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 look, that's how I feel about it, man. You gotta be, you gotta be in the present. It's hard. It's hard. It's very hard for some people. And a lot of times, you got so much going around you that you can't be in the present. Mm. You know, that's something powerful. Yeah, right there. yeah, yeah. You got you a lot said. of activity, a lot of things, but you gotta find that area, that time, that time before bed or right when you wake up. That time that you can be at peace when there's not a lot of activity going on and you just kind of sit there and take in that moment and that alone time. That's the alone time that you want really want to have versus any other thing that's going on in your life. I guarantee you will be able to be spot on and real sharp with your uh, uh, decision making once you're in the present. But if you're in somebody else's situation, you just want to be a fixer, just like you said. Just want to, I just want to fix it. And then, you know, now I give an example. Mitch, you'll come to me and say, man, this, this, that, and the third just happened, and I fixed it this way. And then what did I say? As soon as I hear the instance, I said, well, why you didn't do this? And then you was like, man, I didn't think of it. Because you was all engulfed in it. You wasn't in the present. You was just trying to fix it. That's all you were doing. Yeah. And I would say, man, did you ever think about this? And I just come up with spot on because I'm always in the present. I'm always right here, right now. I'm not about the past. I'm not about the future. I'm right here, right now. So when when problems come up, when situations, and not even problems, but there's just situations that come up, I can be able to maneuver through them. Yeah. And that that's because I've really, really gotten to my alone time. And everybody needs it, whether you're in a relationship or you're not in a relationship. Thank, I'm glad you said that. Yeah. Whether you and me married, yeah. girlfriend, boyfriend, yeah. yeah. You do need time to yourself. Yes. yes. I agree with that. To sit, to do totally agree. whatever. Come on now. That is, hey, everybody. I mean, you can go from the couple that's been married 50 years, 40 years, mm -hmm. 10 years. Mm -hmm. You're not together all the time. Yeah. Come on. You got to have some time hey. away and time to yourself, yeah. not just a way to go deal with somebody else's issues or problems or deal with that. that that's not what we're saying. We're saying you need some time to yourself. And a lot of people just, you know, my time to myself is me and my puppy, me and my cat, me and my whatever. Right. What about just you? What about just you? That's how I look at it. Do that. Be in the present, and you won't be getting like stressed that. out about a lot of different things. That's how I said. Congregation, how y'all feel about that? How you feel about your alone time? Do you give yourself a long time? If you don't give yourself a long time, who gets the alone time? No one? So you're always mm -hmm. running and gunning? Are you making good decisions when you're running and gunning? 
do you feel like you're making good decisions or you're just trying to be that quote unquote fixer or whatever? Well, go ahead. I'll say this, Kay. Simple topic, but the depth of the topic mm-hmm. is going down the Crimson <laughs> Brothers Network. Okay. You For see sure. what I'm saying? For sure, bro. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. That's how that's how I feel, man. You gotta have that time for yourself, no matter what your marital status, no matter what age you are, whatever, man. It doesn't matter. You gotta have that time to yourself. That's when you can reflect on all your things that you've done and be guided by what God has for you. Woo! Stop! Hey, let's go! I'm giving them a hand clap right now, baby. Yes, sir. <laughs> Any final thoughts for them? What you, what you got, bro? You got it, oh. man. You got it. But Like I say, I believe in it. Mm-hmm. You I have to do it. it. We gotta do and it. as yeah. easy as I say it, it's very hard to do. It's a practice. Yes. Practice it every day. Take your time out right before you go to bed and right before you um wake up well not before you wake up but as soon as you wake up take that time for yourself just that if you can start at five minutes just sit there in silence and see what it does and slowly build up 10 15 20 minutes just sit there and just take it all in and then relax your mind i guarantee you'll sleep better I guarantee you will be able to uh, maneuver through life a whole lot smoother. That's yeah. the uncomfortable truth. Hey! Let's go, baby. The depth. Baby! For sure. Roger that. <laughs>you know if you don't want to see us but you want to just listen to us we on apple podcast spotify amazon pandora iHeartRadio, radio google Podcast, all of them all of them 